by popular demand, here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup to help our new Fabs and Besties find some of our favorite videos. Right now, all I can think about is snow. But there is no snow here. In fact, I think it was like 65 degrees today. However, that is not gonna stop our dolls from having some wintertime fun. From ice skates to snowmen, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. going to make icicles for a doll using clear plastic from packaging, clear tape, a paintbrush, clothespins, and gloss Mod Podge. I start by cutting a long strip of the clear plastic. Then I start to cut it into long, like, icicle shapes. Just kind of going back and forth in a zigzag fashion. But I make sure not to cut all the way through so they stay connected. Then I bend it into a circle, use a clothespin to hold it together. Using a paintbrush, apply a generous coat of Mod Podge. Then allow it to dry. The more coats, the more it looks like an icicle. Once dry, remove the clip, then tape it to the dollhouse. And I like to remove some of the stickiness from the tape so that it doesn't leave a residue on the dollhouse. Now what else can we do with these icicles? I can bend them into a circle and then allow the ends to crisscross just a little, then glue it in place to make an ice crown. Or I can take scraps of cardboard, cut them into rectangles and squares. I chose to make four piles. I have four squares, four squares, four rectangles, and one long rectangle. I glue each pile together Glue the rectangle between the squares. On the longer rectangle, I sketch out a design, cut it out, glue it to the back, fill the gaps with hot glue, paint it with craft paint, cover it with glue, then glitter. Cut and glue on the icicles, add a little extra glue, and some glitter. And just because an ice throne can be a little chilly, I am gonna cut a little faux fur, then lay it in the chair. And you're done. Happy crafty! going to make a snow globe for a doll using the small containers from a gumball machine, small pom-poms, pipe cleaners, glitter, thread, a nail file, Mod Podge, tweezers, and glue. I start by opening the container from a gumball machine. If I take the lid, flip it around, then it'll make an easy dome-shaped snow globe. But I want to change the bottom of this snow globe. Using a nail file, I begin to sand the lid so that I can paint it with craft paint allowing it to dry between coats. Brush it with a metallic silver or gold, then a layer of Mod Podge to seal it. Once dry, I carefully paint the top white, 
and allow it to dry. Glue together mini pom-poms. Using tweezers, I glue on black glitter for eyes and coal buttons. Glue on thread for a scarf. Cover thread in glue and allow it to dry to make arms and nose. To make a snowman, trim the fuzz on a pipe cleaner into a point, then cut it off to make small pine trees. Apply glue to the top of the cap, glue on the snowman and a few trees, add a little bit of glue to the trees. While the glue is still wet, sprinkle it with glitter. After it dries, glue on the top. And you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make an ice skating rink for a doll using cardboard, craft paint, craft foam, scrapbook paper, popsicle sticks or skinny sticks, clear plastic from packaging, glitter, Mod Podge, and glue. I start by cutting and gluing together scraps of cardboard to make a base. Sketch out a design for the rink. Cut thin strips of cardboard, bend the cardboard to fit the design. Glue several pieces together to make a rim. Remove the rim from the base. Glue on paper in the shape of the design drawn. Cover the rim as well. Glue on the rim. Cut clear plastic from packaging. Glue it onto the rim. Paint popsicle sticks or skinny sticks with craft paint. Cut and glue them to the rim in plastic. Cut thin strips of craft foam. Glue the strips to the top of the plastic. Mix Mod Podge in a little white paint and I start to paint over everywhere I think there might be a little bit of frost or snow. While the paint is still wet, sprinkle on glitter using the same technique we used to create the rim to make a brick bench. Add your favorite wintertime accessories and you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make ice skates for a doll using cardboard from cereal boxes, craft paint, a nail file, leather cord, elastic or ribbon, a pencil, and glue. I start by cutting open a cereal box to make it flat. Take a doll shoe and trace it onto the cardboard. Then trace a few more. Lay the shoe on its side and then sketch out the blade. Cut it out, then use it as a pattern to trace several more. Cut them all out, glue them together, sand the edges smooth, cut semicircles out of the cardboard, double the layers for more strength, then curve it to fit the back of the shoe. Glue the blade underneath. Now it's time to paint. And I want my skates to have a silvery tone, so I start with a black base coat, then I brush on a silver craft paint. Use elastic leather cord or ribbon to make a strap near the toe, and to get a good measurement, just place the doll shoe onto the skate, then wrap around the ribbon, elastic, or cord. Now depending on the doll's shoes, the straps may need to be placed farther back, or they may need to. And you're done. Happy crafting!
After making snow cones from our frozen free fall video, we think it'll be fun to use the same ideas to make a doll snowman. Using toilet paper, recycled paper, twigs, glitter, a sock, felt, a needle and thread, acrylic paint, and glue. I start by balling up some recycled computer paper, adding layers of paper to make it larger. As I get to the last few layers, I use glue to help them stick in place. Make more in different sizes, stack and glue them together, lightly brush with glue, and apply layers of toilet paper. This will help to fill in the gaps and wrinkles from the paper. Once dried, apply glue and glitter. Roll a paper cone, cut it down to size, fill the inside with toilet paper, paint it orange, bend it to add texture, make small rolls of paper, paint them black, glue them on to make the face. Glue twigs out to the sides. I can also make a small hole in the side to give the twig more support. Cut off the top of a sock, sew around the top edge with a straight stitch, then pull the thread together to make a hat. Cut a strip from the leftover sock for a scarf. Or we can make a felt hat from our How to Make a Doll Fedora video for a different look. Adjust the size to fit your doll or to make snowballs. And you're done. Happy crafting! joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog, and we will see you next time. Bye!